Hi all, it's Thomas from Superstock again. Just wanted to do a quick video on the new Team Powers Actium V6S motors. I've bought a 13.5 turn and a 21.5 turn to test. And I just wanted to do a quick run on the motorizer and also do a run on the magnets uh, on the magnalizer. Just so you can see what these motors are like. I have retuned this one yesterday to roughly 6 amps. I just want to show you the numbers. So as you can see here, the motor is actually actually quite revy which would indicate that this is a pretty low magnetism rotor and I'll explain why as you can see it says here 20,466 rpm which is actually quite high for a 21.5 turn motor and the current draw is pretty decent actually here 2.71 amps and kV is 2756 now if we compare this to a standard hobby wing uh, G4R. The hobby wing is generally anywhere from 18,800 to 19,000 RPM. The current will be about 2.4 maybe to 2.8 depending how high you time it with a KV of around 2550. Now what does that show me? It shows me the rotor on the new Team Powers is a little bit weaker than the hobby wing. We go down here the end bell timing is 43. The timing that I've set this motor at is roughly about 48 and a half on the can. So the can marking got a bit lower than what they normally are. Deviation is 1.7. The asymmetry of the rotor, this is a pretty good one, is 0.8. On this specific motor, the um, ball sensors are not aligned very well. On the 13 turn that I've got here, it's actually aligned very well. So this one probably needs a bit of tweaking. So we go down here, I've roughly tuned it to about this, 5.79, 5.8 and 5. So one of these ball sensors is, as you can see, very low and it's affecting the phase amps on one of them. Uh, and that's not going to give you as much power as you can get out of the motor in general. Potentially, maybe that's something that uh, something to note with these team powers. You know, some of the hall sensors might be a little bit out. Um, but even then, I'm not even hitting six amps per phase here, and it's already revving its butt off, which to me indicates this is a weaker than normal rotor. Um, this feels a little bit like some of the uh, hobby wings that I've prepared with a cooked rotor. So I'll test it on the magnetizer and I'll show you. Later on, I just want to show you the 13 turn now as well. I've pre-tuned this one as well to roughly 6 amps per phase. So as you can see, this motor revs to 30,600, 3.34 amp uh, current draw, KV of 41534. We go down to the uh, phase amps, I've roughly tuned it to 6 amps. I didn't bother to get it accurate. And the timing on this one's actually really good. So this is what I mean by some of these motors are a little bit out in reference to their pull sensor uh, accuracy and some are really, really good. The rotor on this one is maybe not the best, but we don't need to worry about that right now. And uh, end bell is 38.8 and again I've tuned this one to roughly 48 or so. So it seems to be that 6 amps per phase is anywhere from 38 to 38 and a half on the can roughly. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up one of these motors and I'm going to use a magnalizer and I'm going to show you the strength of the rotor. One of the things that I really feel that Team Powers needs to get right is the quality of their magnets. In my opinion I feel that some of these rocket surpass slash type motors have had poor quality magnets. Now, from what I've been told, uh, Team Powers has a different type of magnet compared to the Surpass motors. As you can see from the construction, it does look like a Surpass motor, and it probably is. The construction is really, really good. The machining is, I would say, at the level of Hobby Wing. The wiring inside the motor looks very good quality. It seems to have a uh, heat treating coating like the Hobby Wing. And in general, the, the Surpass motors actually are just very good quality in regards to how they're built but the uh, quality of magnets often is just not there. It is 18.8, minimum 18.8, asymmetry is two. It's actually a very good rotor. So how does that compare to a hobby wing? This is roughly 20 points to 70 points weaker than a hobby wing. But in saying that, the motor itself revs very well. The construction of, of these motors is really good. As you can see, the, the quality of the winding looks really, really good. Now, whether these are to the quality of Hobby Wing or not, I'm not sure. As I look at it a bit closer, it doesn't seem to have the same surface treatment that the Hobby Wing has. The Hobby Wing has a bit of a coating over the cables, which you can't really pick up on the camera, which these windings don't. But just in, in saying that, you know, very good quality motor. I'll be testing this over the next few months, whether it's actually a good motor or not, if I'm happy with it. I will be stocking them, which is superstockrc.com. But just stay tuned, I'll be posting a few more videos in regards to these motors. I'll keep you updated on what I think about them. That's it from me, it's Thomas signing out, and I hope you have a great day.